Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and this is Rincy Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a discussion slash book review type video. There is a book that I recently read and I want to talk about it in a different way than I normally do book reviews. So what I'm basically going to be talking about is what it's like when you read a book that you know is really important but you don't actually like the book. <laughs> So the book that this is referring to for me is Under the Udala Trees by Chinelo Okparanta. I was actually sent this for review by the publisher. Well, not for review, but I was sent this by the publisher. It sounded really interesting. It sounded like something that I would definitely enjoy. And this is a book that I've seen a lot of people really enjoy. So I know that part of it is just me and I just didn't enjoy this book because there are a lot of people out there who really loved it but I didn't. I gave it a two out of five stars. So let me get into the whole discussion. So the story takes place in Nigeria and you are following Ijeoma. You follow her throughout her life. It's basically the adult version of her reflecting on her life growing up in Nigeria and realizing that she's a lesbian. And in Nigeria, it's apparently a crime to be gay. There is an author's note at the end of the book that talks about this a little bit further and it provides a lot of context. But I just really did not enjoy this book at all and I spent the majority of this book debating about whether or not to DNF it but I decided to keep going because one I knew it was loved by a lot of people so I kind of wanted to see if there was something in it that would redeem it for me or maybe the story would start to grow on me or anything like that. Two, I knew that it had themes that you don't see a lot of necessarily in books and so I wanted to give it a chance for that reason as well. And this is also not a very long book so it wasn't like it was a total sludge to try to get through. Um, and it's not like the worst book I've ever read but I just found it to be so very disappointing. The writing in here just really did not work for me and it felt so very like cold and detached that I never really cared about this character very much. And when I finished the book I really debated about what to rate it because I knew that this book was important because it was talking about a topic specifically LGBTQ people in Nigeria who are literally killed and so giving it a low rating felt like I was diminishing the cause. I had to eventually come to this realization or this sort of reconciliation in myself that I wasn't rating the cause by rating this book lowly. I was just rating the book the way that it had made me feel. Um, and this is also part of the problem with ratings in general. Just simplifying books down to a five-star rating really takes away from these sort of discussions and these sort of nuances and these sort of experiences that you can have, especially with pieces of art that books definitely are a part of. You can have complicated feelings towards them and a star rating really doesn't reflect that at all. And I think it's really hard to come to that realization and sort of come to that justification, especially as someone like me who has a somewhat of a platform and people occasionally look at my reviews as a recommendation or a discouragement towards picking up a book. And it feels weird to discourage people from reading a book that you know is important, but at the same time, I wouldn't necessarily want to rave about this book the way that I have other books that I've read in the past. So I feel like there's sort of this conflict that happens when reading books like this. And I don't think I've ever experienced this really before. I think almost all of the time I have a very strong feeling about the star ratings I give books even and the way that I feel about books. And I think part of it is also just like a general disappointment in the book because I feel like it could have been so much better and so much stronger and yet it wasn't. And then I kind of wish that it was so that way I could recommend it strongly so that way more people are reading about this topic. But again, it's one of those books that a lot of people are rating very highly or are rating pretty well. And I've been reading the reviews on some of these as well. And some people are saying that they're rating it highly for the topic more than the writing itself, which I think is understandable, but I don't think that that's a true reflection of the book. But then again, ratings are all so very like arbitrary and also very individual, like different people rate things differently. And I know that I am generally a um, much harsher rater on Goodreads than other people. So it might just be me being tougher on books than a lot of other people are, but I think that it's important to recognize that just because you read a book that's important, if it's poorly written or you don't enjoy the experience and not enjoy in terms of pleasurable because I do read like difficult books and books that are tough and books that are tough in all of the senses like tough in subject matter, tough in language. But if you can't get some sort of connection 
to the book if you don't find the writing intriguing enough or you don't find the characters intriguing enough like there's nothing here for me to grasp onto so I had to give it the lower rating despite the fact that I kind of didn't want to but I knew that I had to so yeah that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about in this video um let me know if you have any thoughts about this how do you guys rate books like this if you've ever been in a situation like this where you knew that the book was talking about something important where you knew the book would, might be profound or something like that but it just wasn't really vibing with you it wasn't the book that you enjoyed or could relate to or could connect to on any sort of level how do you reconcile those feelings if you do it all so yeah that's all i have for now and thanks for watching